the lower legislative arm, which is the county assemblies, on the impeachment of the governors and deputy governors over speaker, you will realize and notice that many uh, impeached governors and, or their deputies challenge their impeachment based on the process of public participation. Honorable Speaker, this is unprecedented, and of course it's my view that you replicate the same, you know, to what happens on the impeachment of governors and deputy governors, and they invoke the element of public part participation across the country. You've made your point. Thank you, sir. Yes, uh, Majority Leader. Before you, Majority Leader, uh, Farah has been raising his hand. I'll give you one minute, Farah. Mr. Speaker, I also join the other colleagues in this, but I have just one very important, most important in this country to raise. Not only do we have to protect the lives of 291 members of parliament who have appended the signature there, we must also protect the system. The IG must protect our president to the hilt. Because you know the kind of a constitution we have. Any reckless thug can decide to change the course of history if, God forbid, anything were to happen to our president. You get my point? And there are people who we have been so worried lately, I get the feeling that they can even have the capacity to plan something like that. Let us make sure this information goes out. We, our president must be protected to the hilt until this motion is over. Because if, God forbid, anything were to happen, then we have something much bigger to worry about. Thank you. Ichumba, and those guys are you're the last one that. Thank you, Honorable Speaker. My Honorable Speaker, if you will indulge me, I'll add something on security. But before that is on standing order 85, Honorable Speaker, 85-2, which Honorable Speaker would beg, even as you guide members, that members